In the first experiment, we showed that a constant flow of air, even at 90% humidity, can dry out the mucus layer. This next experiment shows that brief exposure to room air inhibits mucociliary clearance, but demonstrates humidified air can restore the mucociliary mechanism. Here we are monitoring the velocity of debris on the mucous surface as it is pushed along by mucociliary transport. The scale, which is 200 microns long, indicates magnification. This tissue has been exposed to unidirectional airflow at 38 degrees Celsius, 100% relative humidity for some time, so mucus transport is operating normally. Just after recording began, temperature and humidity were reduced to typical room conditions. Transport velocity slows until the debris on the mucus layer stops moving almost completely. Transport velocity is restored when we return to body temperature and humidity. Particles on the surface are moving at about 8 millimeters per minute. Let's rewind and replay the video, but plot the velocity, temperature, and humidity on the graph. Mucus velocity is in yellow, temperature in orange, and humidity in blue. You can see the drop in temperature and humidity quickly causes a drop in transport velocity. Transport velocity is restored when temperature and humidity return to normal.